Hello everyone. This is another English lesson for the 8th grade students. My name is Tatiana Panovska. Today's lesson will be about the adverbs ever and never. Denešnji čas ke bide za prilozite za vreme ever i never. Na kraju od ove čas, vi je ke znajte kako da ge koristite prilozite za vreme ever i never so gramatičko to vreme present perfect i kako da zboruvate za iskustvo so upotreba na gramatičko to vreme present perfect i prilozite ever i never. At the end of the lesson, you will know how to use the adverbs of time ever and never with the present perfect tense and you will know how to talk about experience using the present perfect tense and the adverbs ever and never. Are you ready? Let's begin. We use the present perfect tense to talk about experience. Go koristime gramatičko to vreme present perfect, da zboruvame za iskustvo. What is experience? Experience is something you have done in the past and you talk about it in the present. Iskustvo je nešto, što ste go napravile vo minatoto, a za njego zboruvate vo segašnosti. For example, I have eaten snails. Imam jadeno poljžavi. Ili sum jadel poljžavi. Or you can use negative sentence. Možete da kažete i odrečna rečenica. I haven't eaten snails. Nemam jadeno poljžavi. Ne sum jadel poljžavi. Gledate deka dvete rečenici se vo gramatičko to vreme present perfect. Iako dejstvijeto se slučilo vo minatoto, bidejki nije zboruvame vo segašnosta za njego i bidejki nemame spomnato koga se slučilo dejstvijeto, go koristime gramatičko to vreme present perfect. So we use present perfect tense to talk about experience. To stress that we haven't done that activity in our entire life, we use never. Za da potencirame deka to dejstvije nikogaš vo životot ne sme go iskusile, upotrebuvame never. For example, I have never eaten snails. Nikogaš vo životot nemam probano ili nemam jadeno položavi. Or, I've never eaten snails. So, pay attention to the place of never in the sentence. Where is never in the sentence? You're right. Between the helping verb have or has and the past participle of the main verb. So, the structure of the sentence with the adverb never is this. Subject, then have or has, never, and the verb in past participle. Let's read the dialogue between an astronaut and an alien. Hi, I'm an astronaut. And the alien thinks, I've never seen an astronaut before. We also use the present perfect tense with never to say that we have experienced something for the first time. Možeme da go koristime prilog od never, so present perfect, i da kažeme deka nešto po prv pad sme iskusile. In that case, we add before. Um, Von zemljanetot ne vika deka nikogaš ne sretnal uh, astronaut, tuku deka nikogaš do sega ne sretnal astronaut. So, never before, nikogaš do sega. Let's see how to use ever with the present perfect tense. Again, the dialogue bet between the astronaut and the alien. Have you ever been to Earth? No, I haven't. 
you can see the use of ever and it is used in the present perfect tense and in a question. So, we use ever with questions in present perfect tense to ask about experience. For example, have you ever seen a snake? Dali nekogaš si videl zmija? Ili dali nekogaš si videla zmija? Od ovaj primer možeme da vidime kada se nalogja eva vo rečenicata. I strukturata na prašalnata rečenica bi bila slednata. Have or has plus subject plus ever and past participle of the main verb. Znači, have ili has, koji što se pomošni glagoli vo rečenicata, podmet od vo rečenicata, potoa ever i glavni od glagol vo past participna forma. Let's see some other examples. Have they ever eaten frogs? Da li ti je nekogaš jadele žabi? Because this is a question, the answers will be yes, they have or no, they haven't. Another example, has he ever visited London? Da li toj nekogaš ko posetil London? Yes, he has or no, he hasn't. Vo razgovorot, namesto da odgovarame so no, he hasn't or no, they haven't, možeme da dademe podolg odgovor i odgovorot da bide no, he has never visited London. No, I have never seen a snake. No, I have never eaten frogs. Now, let's sum up. Da zaokružime. Zašto što se zapoznavme na ovaj čas? We use the adverbs never and ever with the present perfect tense to talk about experience. We use never in affirmative sentences to say that we haven't experienced something in our entire life. The use of never in a sentence makes the sentence negative. Never is between have and has and the main verb in the sentence. We use ever in questions. With ever we ask about experience. The place of ever in the question is before the main verb. Znači, da zaokružime. Gdje koristime prilozite never i ever so gramatičko to vreme present perfect da zboruvame za iskustvo. Go koristime never Vo potvrdni rečenici, za da kažeme deka ne sme izkusile nešto po celi od naš život. Koga go upotrebime neva vo rečenica, rečenicata stanova odrečna. Po struktura je potvrdna, no nezinoto značenje je odrečno. I koga na makedonski go preveduvame, preveduvame so negacija. I have never seen a snake. Jaz nikogaš nemam videno zmije. Prilog od never je pomedju pomošnje od glagol have i has i glavni od glagol vo rečenicata. Ever se koristi vo prašalni rečenici. So ever prašuvame za iskustvo. Mestoto na ever vo rečenicata je pred pomošnje od glagol. It's your turn now. Answer these questions. Write your answers in your notebook. Sega e tvoj red. Odgovori na ovije prašanja i napiši gi odgovorite vo tetratka. Have you ever seen a shooting star? Da li nekoga ste videli zvezda što pagja? Have you ever told a lie? Da li nekoga ste izlažele? Have you ever cheated on a test? Da li nekoga ste prepišuvali na test? Have you ever stayed up all night? Da li nekogaš ste ostanali budni cela noć? Have you ever visited a foreign country? Da li nekogaš ste bile po stranstvu? So, that's all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching and goodbye.